So clearly here with the Ace of Pentacles being the overall, we're talking about a new beginning here, something realistic, something practical, something that can actually grow, right? And I like it. The thing is, though, is that if this person walked away from you in the past, it created a complete collapse for you. And, you know, this was like a shock, right? Something abruptly changed. But with them showing the Eight of Cups, I think that, you know, I, I want to be fair here, but I'm looking at this person and I'm going, what the hell is so confusing about the way that you feel? You're either open or you're not, you know? And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who emotionally flip-flops on you, which is why you're all the way through in a place of needing to make a choice, right? But you may feel like they have abandoned you. That or, you know, they may have thought that you weren't emotionally fulfilling their need and they were wanting to move on or they have. The thing is, though, is if we're talking about a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles and them showing the King of Cups, whether you're dealing with male, female, water, doesn't matter to me. This looks like this person is like trying to show you that they are open and they are available, but I almost feel like they had a chance with you before, but for you, it was like completely destroyed when they didn't, you know, want to give emotionally to a relationship with you or, you know, again, like feeling like emotionally they weren't getting what they needed for you. That's like a shock. Like, really, I thought that I was fulfilling something for you. But all of a sudden now it's like where you meet, it's, they're open, they're available. But for you, you could choose a different path. I look at the two of wands and I think that Virgo has choices. You know, you do have to make a choice when it comes to this person, especially if you're still focused on them. But Again, with the Two of Wands, what are you really trying to create? If you hold your own world in your hand, like we always say with the Two of Wands, what the fuck are you doing? What are you creating? You know, and is it possible here that something can restart? And I do think that, you know, it, it is showing in future conditions, but do they take control, right? But the flip-flop comes from the Eight of Cups and then the Moon, and then them showing themselves as a king of cups? No, I highly doubt that this person is con in control of the way that they feel. Now, with the two of pentacles, I don't think that Virgo is juggling two different situations. I think that maintaining this relationship with this person may be something that you're considering not doing anymore, especially if you've been too flexible for them before. Okay, so now let's say that the Eight of Cups has nothing to do with you. Like, they should have moved on from something, but maybe they didn't, but it was still a shock for you. I still see Virgo coming into this as, you know, it's been completely wiped away. You know, but like I said, here they are again. And for you, you know, being flexible, seeing if maybe this could start, because I do think that you do have a connection with this person, and I do think that you would like to see where a relationship would go. But the thing is, is with the moon, they need to face the reality of their emotions and whatever it is they felt like they weren't, you know, getting. Or, you know, if they're still confused about whether or not they should walk away from something else and start something new with you. Because you could very well be dealing with a person that's like that. Like, they're in a situation where they're not getting emotional fulfillment, and they want to walk away, but they don't. But yet they're still showing you that they're available to you, but then they're not facing the reality of their emotions with the moon. They don't know what the hell they want. They're confused as fuck. But you, I think, have an understanding, though, because you wouldn't be flexible otherwise. And I, I, I do feel like some Virgos want to continue to keep things going with this person, but it requires you to, you know continuously try to keep balance, right? Like, I almost feel like with the Two of Pentacles, it's you don't want this person to revert back the way that they did in the past. Like, let's let's not drop this just yet. Let's keep this going, you know? But you're going to have to really think about how you feel, but they're not willing to face that with the moon. It bothers me a little bit. But I look at your outcome 
And with the Ace of Pentacles and then looking at the Six of Pentacles here, it's like what makes this realistic is that somebody is starting to give and, you know, equal, equal give and take. And, and here is the connection, right? And like I said, with the Emperor, it's like, do they take control? Do they get control over this emotional upheaval and, you know, whatever has happened in the past? But I feel like they've let you down in a way, though, too. And for you, it's like, okay, then it's over and it's done with. I didn't expect this. But, you know, you're in a place where you could move forward with this person. But I also think that they all, they also need to pick a course of action, right? Now, the thing is, is I feel like this person is like trying to gain some stability here. But I also feel like there is a part of them that emotionally is going to be missing when it comes to you, though, I do think that Virgo has some understanding, especially if that Eight of Cups has nothing to do with you. Like the reason why they moved on from you is because they just couldn't move on from something else. So, or someone else, I should say. So the King of Pentacles and looking at the Page of Pentacles, you know, the, this again is definitely somebody that would like to restart with you and rebuild where they let things collapse with you, right? But they're also wanting to communicate, you know, that they have learned something new about their situation, right? That's kind of how I see the Page of Pentacles. With you looking at them as a King of Pentacles, it may be that it's one or the other here. You are looking at they could be dependable. They could make things successful with you. But you may also be looking at them as being a little bit, you know, I want to say self-centered. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, the thing is, is if we're looking at an equal relationship here, it, it, you want them to see your point of view definitely with the Two of Cups, but we're still looking at, you know, the two of you having a, an emotional connection for sure. But, you know, be realistic, right? Like if you really have learned something, then, you know, show it, right? And don't act like it's just about you. Remember that I am involved in this too. And, you know, again, we're still looking at the equal give and take that's happening here that's making things realistic. Now, with the Knight of Swords, this doesn't surprise me if this is Virgo here being very blunt and honest and direct with this person. And they want to keep the communication going. And with the Page of Wands, right, they may be talking to you about, you know, what they would like to see happen with you or what they would like to do and like talking about what they're wanting to act on. But you're like, come direct, right? Like, let me just be honest with you. If you are still dealing with all of this, then you need to handle your business here. You know, I'm okay with talking to you, but, you know, I almost want to say like you're going, don't make promises that you can't fulfill, but it's not a Knight of Cups type of thing. I think that this person is being genuine in their communication with you because I do think that they're wanting to regain some stability. But I think that you also realize that because of the past, there's always going to be a part of this person that is going to be hard for you to access, you know, because they, I feel like with all of this emotional garbage going on here, I think that it, it's not that it's hard for them to move on, but I think that they have been drained in a way where you know, it's going to be hard for you to fill, right? Like, how do I put this? They're, they're numb. They're emotionally numb. But yet they still want to communicate with you and they would like to see if things can be built. But I really think that you're dealing with a person who has a hard time getting over somebody. Seriously. You know, and this is an issue that is nothing new to you with them. You know, this is the same thing, right? But I'm hopeful here because of this and the Emperor, you know. But I also think that, you know, you're being very clear with them in that don't be half-hearted with me. So, but the thing is, is that it's hard to, like, get over it almost. Because there's something about, you know, the way that you feel about this person that it, it's hard for you to look past, but yet they have damaged you in one way or another here. So I feel like the emperor is what you are dealing with, whether it's a male or female or whether you're the male or female, that doesn't matter to me. What I look at with the emperor is the personality of the person. 
This is someone who is very, you know, passion driven, you know, and will continuously go after a passion to fulfill that kind of like need to have physical contact, right? That is the emperor. And with the nine of pentacles, you know, this is somebody that won't be tied down is what I want to say. So you're not really in a relationship with them. It's just, you know, you guys are, are having your connection here. And I feel like Virgo, it will, you know, take what they can get from this, right? Because that is the Nine of Pentacles. It's not really a relationship. We're not calling it that, you know, but, but we do hook up, right? Like we do talk or, you know, we do hang out. And that's going to be just about all it is. But there is something about this person that I think is hard for you to get past. The Six of Cups is going to be, you know, about the past, right? But focused on the past partner or how they were in the past, right? Like they may have been open to you in terms of a relationship before, but that's not who they are now. But you still go back to this place of, you know, we could have been in a relationship. This could have been how things were right or how they could be but with the queen of swords there's like the damage that's done you know like i always say with her she's hyper focused on the person who has hurt her you know so there's a part of you that that i almost feel like is being hard on yourself like virgo is is like getting on themselves about why are you still hooked on this person why are you still thinking about them you know it's like you're trying to bring out the the mean inner bitch right and again whether you're male or female you know because it's not that you're you're trying to connect with somebody but you're lacking emotionally this is different this is like i've been hurt right but you're hurt that there is not a want from this person to have a relationship with you and with the ten of swords it sucks ass but you need it to be over with because i think that this person is never going to take anything seriously with you okay and again it's only going to be for some of you, right? But then the other thing that I will say, because of staying optimistic about your love life, I think that it may suck, but you have to end this in order for you to have fun, to make different connections. You know what I mean with the four of wands, right? Because it's lighthearted. It's, it's having a good time. So like I said, with the king of wands, it would make sense that that's what you see about this person, right? Like, they're very a, a very physical passionate person but the thing is is that their passion is open to whoever is what i feel like and they won't make that connection with virgo they won't say it's a relationship they won't make that kind of commitment and with the ten of cups it's like they're in and out i that's what i feel like you know and it's almost like they think everything is fine with you i don't think that they have any clue that you know you're you're pretty hurt by that and I also think that there's a part of you that's not showing that to them. You know, like I, I said, you're, you're being hard on yourself, but what you're trying to show is the queen of swords. Like, you know, I, I'm calm, cool and collected, but I'm really pissed off. It's almost like I don't want this person to know how much they affect me. But clearly this person is oblivious to this. They think that everything is fine with what you guys are doing, but I don't think that Virgo is. But like I said, it, it's only when this situation ends that a realistic opportunity comes in for you. But the thing is, is, is stop. You have to stop getting involved with people that are not serious, that are not serious about you, are not serious about relationships, that all they want to do is just have a good time. But I also think that if you end this, it, it's going to hurt and it's not something that is going to be easy to deal with. But the thing is, is you may be able to go out and have fun and meet different people. But out of that comes a more realistic opportunity. And again, right, like stay optimistic. And then the wheel. Okay. All right. All right. But it may be hard for you to feel like it's okay to open up and love someone. So... And your partner more specifically, because we're talking about Virgo couples here. So the Six of Pentacles, I never like seeing this card because it, it always makes me feel like somebody feels really like let down, let down by their partner. Like 
they are not giving you what you need. You know, they're not giving you that fulfillment. And then with the Nine of Swords, this is something that weighs on your mind. It's almost like every time you connect, you're connecting with them. But it's like, are you a fucking idiot? Are you that oblivious to what I'm missing? You know, but you're you're still connecting with them. But those are the things that are, are going on in your mind, right? And with the Queen of Pentacles and then looking at the Ace of Swords, we're also talking about and it makes me wonder, it makes me wonder if this person has done something to betray your trust at some point in the past because of that Ace of Swords. But I also, the initial feeling got, I got off of this was that, you know, if we're talking about truth and honesty and trusting and communication, I think that you're letting this person know that I don't need you. I can take care of myself and I can fulfill my own needs. You know, if this is how things are going to go. Like, I, you know, I've always said when, when you get Virgo angry, it, it's not a fun thing. It's scary, right? Like, I would not want to have a Virgo piss off at me. <laughs> but, you know, in terms of, like, trusting, you may not trust this person is going to give you the fulfillment that you need. Because I always look at the Queen of Pentacles and I think that she doesn't need anybody. She doesn't need that person, right? Like, it's like she's pulling her foot away. Like, yeah, you know, I, I'm fine on my own. I can take care of myself. You're not giving me what I need. So, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. But now with justice and the wheel, this is where things start to look better, right? So if there is that truth because I'm looking at this one sword, this one thing that finally needs to be said, right? This looks like things are going to be corrected, fair and balanced, right? With justice, somebody making amends. And with the wheel, we're talking about, you know, a, a, a good change in the relationship. Things changing in a more positive way. And then you have the chariot and it's good, right? And it's it's a big thing. This is, they're going to be coming out of nowhere here and wanting to take control of the relationship instead of letting things veer off course. But the thing is, is that, you know, this I feel like is attached to the past, but I still think that we're talking about like, you know, the jealousy here over where the trust has been betrayed, you know, it, but I think that because of whatever went on, I think Virgo is being very honest and direct with this person. Like, I don't need you. I, I can, you know, find fulfillment somewhere else. If you're going to do the fucking tower, I can too. So fuck you. <laughs> and that's what I feel like. But the thing is, is it, it's going to be corrected. Now, this could though be that for some of you, yeah, and, and I'm just being honest here, this could be that this is the end of the relationship, but this is what you needed in order to be able to move on. But this very specifically is about somebody coming out of nowhere and wanting to give the relationship a sense of direction. And the thing is, is you're trying to heal from this, you know? Now we can flip the script on this for sure, but I just feel like this is Virgo saying... You know, if you want to rebuild trust, you need to fix this. Because I don't see Virgo being the type to stay jealous. There's no point in being in a relationship like that if that's the way that you're going to feel. But like I said, it's saying that it's safe for you to love. It, it's going to be okay for you to open up your heart again. As long as the situation gets corrected and the relationship gets back on track because this is still positive change. 